Electric vehicle batteries have been a hot topic since Tesla's CEO Elon Musk revealed his plans to revolutionize the car battery. But are there shortfalls when it comes to those lithium ion batteries? Let's bring in the CEO of EOS Energy Storage, Joe Mastrangelo, to discuss. Good morning, Joe. So your company, EOS Energy, offers a zinc battery that is a competitor, I guess, to this lithium ion battery. For those who don't know, tell us the difference between those two things. Yeah, so so it's basically a fundamental difference in the chemistry of the battery where uh, zinc battery, you have, you have a uh, lot more availability of raw materials, you have a uh, higher safety factor, there's very low risk of a thermal runway, and you have much higher operability in a wide temperature range compared to what you see with lithium ion systems. Uh, you have a bunch of uh, former GE executives involved with the company. You're, you yourself are a, a former GE executive. Uh, GE's former CFO, Jeff Bornstein, is an advisor right. to your board. Walk us through the process as you prepare uh, for that public market debut. What type of discipline is this team bringing uh, ahead of that debut? Yeah, so, so you know, um, I came to the company uh, almost two years ago and we really focused on how you take a really good technology concept and R&D concept and create an industrialized, scalable product that's what we've been working on the last 18 months. You know, we have a factory located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, that's producing product. We've got systems out in the field running. Now we're just preparing for all the rigors of uh, becoming a public company and, and filing all the, all the appropriate paperwork and getting the team ready to go from the private realm into the, into the, into the public realm. What we've really tried to bring is just um, good operating discipline to hit on our commitments that we made to customers and uh, shareholders. When do you expect that? Oh, okay. Go ahead, go ahead, Brian. Sorry. No, no. When do, when do you expect that debut to happen, and and why are you going the uh, the SPAC route? Yeah. So so you know, look, we're 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 in the process of getting approval from the SEC. So it's dependent upon their timeline. Should be sometime in the mid fourth quarter. You know, the the the, the SPAC route was a great route for us to get a low cost of capital to really scale the company. You know, we had gotten to this point where. We had a good proof of concept. We had systems out running in the field. And now it's about how do you scale both manufacturing and our commercial operations of the company. And this was the easiest way for us to get the capital to be able to build the uh, to build the manufacturing capacity and the team to, to address the market that we have in front of us. Talk to us about the cost of your battery versus a lithium ion battery. And also give us an idea of, of who some of your clients are. Yeah, so so customers run the gamut of um, industrial factories, utilities, renewable solar and wind farm operators. Um, you know, when you look at the cost of our battery, you know, it, it really is very simple. You know, there's five core widely available commodities. We have no precious metals. There's no conflict materials. It's non-toxic. So as you scale our business, the cost curve comes down like you've seen in other renewable technologies like wind and solar. Uh, we use everything we use in our battery. There's nothing customized for EOS. It's all used in other industries. So we're able to draft off of um, that capacity that's being utilized by other industries. So, so it allows us to grow the company faster than if you were trying to develop everything on your own. Interesting this week, I'm sure you saw Elon Musk uh, put out a, a timeline to uh, reduce battery costs for lithium ion by about close to 60% uh, within a few years. But your business model suggests that lithium ion is, is not the way of the future. Well, look, I, I, think, I think when you look at the energy industry, right, and, I, and I've been working in, in the industry for nearly 30 years, there's always going to be a mix of technologies required to meet every use case. We feel like we have a technology that meets a use case when you're talking about longer duration, harsh operating environments. So if you're talking about discharging energy from two to 10 hours, we have a really good technology for that. We won't, you, you won't see an EOS battery in an EV because we just don't have the same power density that you get from lithium ion. So there's a place. And when you look at the size of the market, there's a place for multiple technologies. And we feel like we fit a large swath of the market to be able to give the industry what it's looking for as we go to a, you know, a lower carbon future as we, as we generate power. All right. Well, good luck with uh, going public. We'll be looking out for that. Thank we'll be you. having back on the day that you do. Joe Mastrangelo, EOS Energy Storage's CEO. Thanks, Alexis. Thanks, Brian.